Uh, uh, welcome. Hey, hello again, everybody. Welcome. Good to see you again so soon. Uh, I'm just joining you here today to show you. Uh, you know, look, look at this little sketchbook I have. Big, kind of big sketchbook, right? This, and this is the sketchbook I've been using uh, so far at school. Like I said, I've, I'm in the school gear right now, right? And I, but I want to share it with you. Most of the things I do, I have. I'll show it to you here. I A R. I think it stands for Interior Architecture. Okay, and I've been using this sketchbook for uh, most of the things I do in a couple of the classes. Like both two classes go into this. One class called um, actually I don't know what the classes are called. Environmental Design, Intro to Design, something or other. I don't know what they're called. I just know I go. I know what day to be there. I know what time to be there. And I just arrive and then I do things. Uh, but I use this sketchbook. Yeah. As you can see, some of this has been in previous videos. I'm just gonna... Uh, and, and, and I also just use the sketchbook for other random stuff. Like if I just feel like doodling, right? Then I doodle. And this is kind of a multimedia sketchbook too. I've got pencil. I've got colored pencil. I've got pen. Oh, actually, that's about it so far. You can see here I was drawing some shoes. Some of these things were some of the things in this sketchbook are assignments, and some of the things in here are just me. Uh, I mean, this is even in another class. This is in a third class called uh, Intro to Sustainable Design or something like that, uh, which is more of a lecture class. So I sit there taking notes, which is my way of taking notes. I write like one word and then just doodle around it usually. But I've been doing okay on the quizzes, so that's just how my brain works, I guess. Uh, yeah, and I even, you know, sometimes I even doodle in this on the weekend, and now I'm gonna doodle in this uh, here on a video for you, because, you know, I just sometimes, even, even with all the stuff I have to do for school, I just wanna sit down and draw. So that's what I'm gonna do on this page right here. Lately, you know, some of you might realize and some of my favorite pens in the recent past have been the Rotring Isograph pens, but this paper is almost too soft for the Rotring Isographs. Like they, they're like, those things are sharp like needles and the paper is soft and they kind of get caught on it a little bit. At least that's what I noticed at first. So I've kind of been using, these have been my two go-to, my go-to pens recently. Let me zoom in, all right? You got your Pilot G205, right? This is the, the brand, the model, and the caliber, all right? Uh, and then I've also been enjoying these Muji pens. And I think these are both uh, maybe rollerball pens. They're, uh, there's also 0.5, they're, they're gel pens, right? So I think I'm gonna use the Muji pen. They come in packs like these, at least when I buy them on, uh, on Amazon. And uh, I like them. They do good on this paper. And I'm gonna scribble away with it now for a few minutes and you guys can hang out, all right? Let's do it. All right, so this scribble, this, uh, well, I feel like it might be a little bit dismissive to call it a scribble, but the drawing I'm doing here that you're about to watch probably took me between one and two hours, which really is on the low side of things for a lot of the things I draw, which is why in my mind it's just a scribble. Uh, but it doesn't really matter what you call it. I did, I did keep it fast and loose uh, for this one, right? Quick and easy, just kind of, uh, not getting too caught up in drawing the details. That is something I really like doing is slowing down and being very careful with every single line. But the flip side of that coin is is just going quick and not being careful with every line and just getting it out out you know getting it all out on the paper, letting you know get, getting caught up in the flow of the drawing, which you don't really do if you're too slow and you draw each line very carefully. I enjoy both kinds of drawing, but it, for me at least, it does feel like two distinct types of art. Uh, I don't know, that probably wasn't a very good way of describing it, but also I did see one, one uh, comment on when I posted this on Instagram a few days ago saying something about how, uh, like uh, since I started this like interior architecture program, like a, like a structured design program, and they commented on this drawing saying like, it's affecting me already. Like I'm drawing buildings, you know, uh, and it does look like I've drawn some buildings here in this drawing. But, and then I started wondering like, has it really? Do you think like, maybe it has? Like I hadn't really thought about it, uh, but 
in my opinion, uh, I think I've been, I think it's kind of the other way around that I ended up in a a school program like I did because I have been preoccupied with and interested in buildings for a long, long time. Uh, and I mean, it kind of, I mean, sometimes I was interested in buildings in a different way. Like it, one of the only things I ever thought I wanted to be when I was growing up, like there was never a time in my life when I thought I wanted to be an artist, but there was a time when I thought I wanted to be, uh, I think I was about eight years old or so. And if you asked me, Peter, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would very proudly and excitedly say that I wanted to be a demolition expert. I wanted to be the guy in the, you know, the guy with the wrecking ball. I wanted to be the, the person that places all the charges and implodes buildings and all of that. It seemed very cool to me. Uh, I don't know if I consciously knew I enjoyed buildings back then, but I knew I, for, for some reason, I was enthusiastic about destroying things. Um, I don't know. I probably shouldn't go too into that. Or what if there's like a psychologist listening? I'm afraid of what they'll find out. But, but anyways, I feel like I've been drawing buildings for years. Like some of my earliest drawings that I post on Instagram, you know, like seven years ago or something have been buildings and cityscapes and stuff like that. So I don't think this is some new thing, but it, but I think that is a very good point. Something to pay attention to, right? Is what I learn here. Uh, will it affect me? Uh, will it change my art style? Cause I'm not doing like a school assignment here in this sketchbook. If I'm, when I sit down to just do art, you know, if I sit down and just do this sort of thing where it just kind of, I just let it come out of me, like whatever I want, no, no requirements, no, you know, outside pressure, no grade, you know, no one's requesting anything of me. It's just me trying to listen to myself and see what I want to draw, what I want to create. Will uh, my schooling here affect that? And, uh, you know, on one side, I don't want it to. I just want to stay true to myself, whatever that means. But I think it's okay for who I am to change. And also, I think it would be good and okay to go to school and some things about me change. Obviously, I don't want, I don't want some things about me to change. But, I mean, I don't mind if I learn some things. And, you know, obviously, I don't want to become like a fundamentally different person. I don't want to become like a fundamentally different artist that just draws boring things all the time or I, I don't, you know what I mean? But I, I, I'm not opposed to the idea of my style shifting and my style shifts and changes all the time. Anyways. I mean, a few years ago I was drawing only uh, mandalas for a couple of years and before that it was buildings. And then I didn't draw buildings for a while and then it was mandalas. And then, and then for a while I drew like a bunch of blobby things. I don't know. Life's weird. Anyways, it will be it will be interesting to pay attention to, it. and maybe even now that I'm thinking about it, I, I almost kind of want to consciously embrace it a little more, make the most of it. So, um, you know, maybe I will just. I don't know. We haven't even really learned about buildings at all yet. We've just been learning about sh shapes and structure and design. You know, the project I'm working on now. I don't want to spoil it for you because I'm going to make a video about it. Is you know, it's just about kind of abstract ideas like harmony and dissonance, and then we represent that through. 3D structures we make out of like index cards and bamboo skewers, which to me kind of look like buildings, but uh, they don't have to. Anyways, this is a fun, fun drawing. I enjoyed it. They're buildings. It's okay. They're buildings to me. They don't have to be to you. Anyways, all right. Goodbye, everybody. It's a good pen. The Muji pen, by the way. Was this supposed to be a pen review video? I'm not sure. I didn't set out for this to be a pen review video, but I do like the Muji pen. It's pretty good for a, for what it is. I enjoy it. I would recommend it. All right. All right, goodbye. All right, goodbye.